Welcome to Paradigm Conversations. I am your host, Quinina Centeno, and I am so grateful to have you join me as we seek to grow in God. Set your notifications and let's dive in. So we got a good one today. Uh, This is about the resurrection. This is about the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Um, I was having a conversation with God because I was sitting in church service one day and I heard one of the ministers say, and I've heard it say, say, um, I've heard it being said more than once this phrase, that the same people who said, Hosanna, Hosanna, who uh, laid the palm branches out before Jesus as he rode upon the donkey, the same people that said, Hosanna, Hosanna, were the people who also said, crucify him. Well, based on my research, guys, that was inaccurate information. That is not correct. The same people who cried Hosanna were not the same people who said, crucify him. And I am going to prove that to you today through our paradigm conversation. All right. So in John chapter 12 is where we find where Jesus um, had just, he just raised Lazarus from the dead. And after he raises Lazarus from the dead, um, Mary, um, she comes and she anoints his head um, and his feet. Uh, she wipes her, her, his feet with her, her, her hair and um, her tears. And she anoints Jesus. Let me slow down. She anoints Jesus. And so after she anoints Jesus, the chief priests, the religious leaders, and the officers were upset about that. Even those who were sitting in the room was like, well, why she wasted this on Jesus? Why she wasted this good oil, this good ointment? We could have sold that and given it to the poor, right? So he's sitting in the house in the midst of Sadducees, Pharisees, um, chief priests, officers, the religious leaders within uh, what, what they had established as the religious sector of that time and it's in uh, Jerusalem among the Jews okay so they're sitting in the house they have a complaint now the chief priests got upset about that they were angered by it okay and they were angered so much to where they conspired so that they could also put Lazarus to death so they not only wanted Jesus to die but they also wanted Lazarus to die. And in John chapter 12, verse 11, it says, They wanted him to die because that by reason of him, many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. So the Jews, it was really a religious uh, conflict because the Jews were now starting to believe in Jesus Christ. And those chief priests and the Sadducees, they didn't like that. That was upsetting to them. They were jealous. They didn't want people to start to turn away from their teachings and their doctrines and believe in Jesus Christ. They were still, they were not believers. They were skeptical. They didn't, they did not agree with that. So they also sought to kill Lazarus, uh, Lazarus along with Jesus. So when we move on into the uh, further chapter 12, verses 12, the next day is when Jesus decides to ride in in the street on the donkey, on the ass. And when he did that, these were the people who had come to see Lazarus who had been risen from the dead. These were supporters who came. And some spectators. You know, when stuff happened, everybody wanted to go see, ooh, what happened? What what was that? We We run towards the news of the city. So the people came because some of those were people that Jesus healed. Some of those people were people that wanted to be healed. They were supporters. So yes, they yelled, Hosanna, Hosanna, as he went down and down the street. And they said, blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. Okay? And so now we come over to John chapter 19. In John chapter 19, He's being accused of being called the king of the Jews and 
you know, he's been accused of blasphemy. And he's being accused of blasphemy by who? The Sadducees, the Pharisees, the chief priests, and the officers, which are pretty much the same group of people. These are the same men who were already upset because Jesus had raised Lazarus from the dead and he was doing all these miracles and he was beginning to gain traction. The, the Jewish people were now beginning to acknowledge Jesus as the Messiah. They did not like that. So they were the ones who wanted to crucify Jesus. And the proof is in John chapter 19 and verse, we can start at verse 5 with that. It says, Then came Jesus forth, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. And Pilate said unto them, Behold the man. When the chief priests, therefore, and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said unto them, Take ye him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. So ladies and gentlemen, this was inaccurate information to say that the same people that said Hosanna were the same people that said crucify him. That is incorrect. The chief priests and the officers were the ones who said crucify him. The chief priests were also consisted of Sadducees and Pharisees. Those men, that group of men who were in the temple who taught before Jesus' arrival on the scene. They were teaching the teachings of Moses. They did not believe that Jesus was the Messiah. So they had an issue with that. They sought to kill him because he was gaining too much influence. And those religious leaders, which is really the real thing that should have been said, was you have to be, be careful because those in high places who do not believe in you, they'll come against you. So these were officials in high, these were men in high places who taught to kill it. The people were spectators. Yes, the people showed up. They wanted to see him. But in true accuracy, it was the, the chief priests and the officers who said crucify him. He had a following. He had a group of believers. And he was getting beginning to gain more and more influence. And that influence created such a jealousy, a disdain, and a hatred to where they sought to kill him and those associated with him like Lazarus. Which is also why Peter decided to deny him three times as well. Other than the fact that Jesus had already prophesied it. Part of that was because Peter didn't want to die also. Because they were on the rampage. <laughs> so the same people that said Hosanna, Hosanna were not the same people that said crucify him. Jesus had a following. He had believers that followed him and supported him. He had those, the crowd that always showed up to where he was or where he was headed. Amen. Y'all have a great day. And this concludes our paradigm conversation for today. I am your host, Quinina Sensino. Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. I, I pray it was a blessing to you as well. If you would, just go ahead and click the like, share, subscribe, or follow button depending on the type of media that you are tuning in from thank you for being a part of the community of paradigm conversations have a wonderfully blessed and amazing day